So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for uh, uh, a keyword that I was thinking about targeting, right? So I'm going to put in version AI. Now, what you can do here, you also can search uh, like which country you want to uh, do these searches in. And it has a variety of countries here that you can search. We're just going to do United States. And then you have the uh, language here. Also, we just do English. And we're going to hit find keywords. So when we click that, what it's going to do is go out there and pull uh, these related keywords. And uh, Conversion AI is going to show you the data on it. Now, on the side here, you got your keywords to where you it, it, you can look and see uh, which keywords are going to be the best ones that you're going to uh, be able to target here. So then you have uh, the trend. Now the trend, this is something very important that a lot of uh, people miss over in keyword research is, uh, is this uh, keyword going to be bringing in traffic all year or just part of the years and you can see that right here as you can see at the very end of the year this is when a lot of the traffic is coming in for conversion ai and then you have this keyword here the uh the traffic is coming in sporadically a little bit it's just it's going down going up a little bit which is uh still okay and then this keyword here is kind of a little bit more consistent here so you're going to get traffic all through the year and that's something very important when you're doing uh, keyword research to look at that. Um, now, what you want to do is, but you basically want to go for keywords that uh, long-term keywords that you can rank for uh, fairly quickly and start getting traffic from that. Okay, now we got the search here. This is very important also. Uh, you want to know, is it even worth your time to do this, to target this keyword? Okay, Conversion AI has 1,200 searches, so that'd be pretty good. And this one has about 30, so uh, that's not too good. Okay, then you got the uh, CPC is the uh, cost per click. So if you're um, doing some Google AdWords and you just want to just pay for the traffic, then you can just look at and see how much it's going to cost you every click. Okay, you got your uh, PPC looking at that. So this is the level of competition in the PPC. It's going to give you a number here. And uh, you can check that out and see if it's going to be worth your time doing that. Okay, now here's the one that you want to check out. So if you're doing a lot of blogging and you want to be like, okay, can I rank for this keyword or not? So this is like really the most important one here is the uh, keyword SEO difficulty. And this is going to give you a uh, number here where you can see if it's going to be easy or it's going to be difficult. On the side right here, you can see that this is uh, still easy. It gets a 24 out of 100, so it's uh, saying that it is easy. So you're going to really want to pay attention to that. And when you click on this magnifier here, it's going to show you the, um, the keyword difficulty right there. So when I click on that, so now I'm seeing that this one here is 25, so it's also very easy to... Uh, to rank for. So you want to make sure that you look at this data when you're doing it. Now over here, you got a SERPs uh, overview. So what this uh, does here, I'm going to click back on this one. What this does here is it's showing you the uh, top uh, well-paid URLs that's in Google and giving you search, like a, uh, giving you an idea of how the competition is going to be if you're going to try to rank it like with your blog so you got some data over here the uh, the first one is the url just showing you the url that's ranking in the uh google search engine then the next one is the uh, da this is a domain authority and this is a ranking score by malls that predicts how well a domain will rank and then you got the uh, page authority, which is a ranking score also by Moz that predicts how well Pacific Page will rank. Okay, now you got the citation flow, which is this one is developed by um, uh, Majestic here is focused on link quality. And then you got the trust flow. This is developed by Majestic also, which is going to focus on the uh, link quality there. And so then you got the links is the number of external backlinks to the URL 
of the uh, number of uh, referring domains, IPs, and subnets. And then you got the um, the number of Facebook shares for a given URL provided by Facebook's uh, API. Okay, then we got the overall link profile screen, strength of the URL developed by Mangos. And the last one here is the uh, estimate visitors per month on this SERP uh, position calculated from the page here uh, with the uh, monthly search volume. So uh, this right here is, is pretty important. Also, you, when you're doing your keyword research, now you know that uh, this keyword uh, con conversion uh, AI is getting 1,200 searches, but how many of those searches are going to end up clicks to on your website, right? So this is what this number is all about here. They're saying that uh, if conversion AI uh, searches was 1,200, you might get about 415 of those. And if you was in the second position, you would get maybe about 184 uh, clicks to your website. So that's also some important data that you need to know when you're doing your keyword uh, research, right? Okay, and I want to expand a little bit more on this uh, with the uh, KW Finder, where um, they have the uh, analyze your SERPs here. So I'm just going to click on this real quick so that we can go a little bit more deeper into the uh, data here. Now, what I like about this is that it's also when you're looking at this on the uh, SERPs uh, checker, you got the ability to look at mobile and desktop. That's something that you really need to pay attention to now because these two are different. Uh, you're going to get different search results. And so if you try to go off of the, of the desktop uh, and you're um, and then you also have mobile, if you're looking at your mobile phone, it's going to be different. And so if you're trying to trying to rank and stuff, you want to look at both of these both of these right here. You want to look at the desktop and the mobile and see which one you can have a better chance at of ranking at. Okay, so it giving you a lot, all this information, what I just went over with uh, just a while ago, it's giving you that, it's showing you that um, information. You can see um, like this one here is the overall link profile strength. And uh, so you can get a little better um, view of how things are going to be if you're going to try to rank for this type of keyword right here okay let's jump back over here uh, that is about it guys so I hope that this can help you with your keyword research so that you won't waste any time uh, targeting keywords that are are too competitive and uh, make sure that you go for the long-term uh, keywords uh, short-term keywords like like two keywords uh, you know it, it's going to be difficult to uh, to rank for those, try to go for maybe three or more, and this will help you out with your keyword research, guys. Check it out. I got a link in the description here where you can get a 10-day uh, free trial uh, at the time I'm recording this video. And let me know what you think about this right here. Uh, drop a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.